So in this video, I'm going to give a brief overview on muscular tissue. And so muscular tissue's primary job is to exert a physical force on other tissues and organs, with an emphasis on exert a physical force. In addition, muscular tissue has elongated cells that are specialized to contract when they are stimulated. And muscular tissue is also responsible for movements of the bodies and limbs. For example, some of those movements are motion of digestion and waste elimination, contraction of some organs, so muscles help some organs contract, muscles help you, muscular tissue, sorry, helps you with speech, breathing, and allows for blood to be circulated. And finally, one more thing to put on here is, as you all know, muscles can also produce heat. So let's write down here heat production. And so there are actually three different types of muscle tissue. And let's talk about that now. And so here I've listed the three types of muscles. You have skeletal muscles, you have cardiac muscles, and you have smooth muscles. And so it's a general consensus that skeletal muscles are the only ones that you have conscious control over. And so that's pretty important to differentiate between the three. And so to begin with, we'll talk about skeletal muscles and they are just essentially long and thread-like, and they are striated. And as shown on the diagram to your right, they also stabilize your skeleton, and then essentially protects your internal organs as well. Next, we'll talk about cardiac muscle. And it's important to remember that cardiac muscle is only found in the heart and is not under conscious control, generally not under conscious control. And then finally, let's talk about smooth muscles. Smooth muscles are probably the most complex out of all of them. And so smooth muscle forms layers of the digestive, respiratory, and urinary tract, and also controls the diameter of blood vessels. And by controlling the diameter of blood vessels, this smooth muscle has an important impact on how blood flows as well as the blood pressure. And so you're probably gonna hear about smooth muscles a lot when you're talking about blood vessels because that's a key thing that smooth muscle does is regulate the blood pressure. In addition, as shown in the diagram, smooth muscle moves food, urine, and respiratory tract secretions. And so pretty much right now I've given you an overview on the three types of muscles and muscular tissue. In future videos I'm going to go more in depth, but this was just an overview. And so I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.